Hey everyone, good morning. We are about to head out to Pals Verdes. I'm here with my dive buddy Devin. We are gonna go out to grab some lobsters. Uh, I think he's gonna bring his uh, spear gun out as well, try to grab some fish. I'm gonna primarily go for lobsters and then uh, just enjoy the water. See you in a bit. We are at Pals Verdes and we are ready to dive. The conditions are not as nice as we thought it would be. It looks extremely surgy. Uh, surf is about a foot and a half or so, so a little higher than we're used to. Um, is it diveable? Yes, but um, are, is the visibility going to be good? And uh, it's just going to be that much more frustrating to get into those holes and uh, try to fish out those lobsters. So. See how it goes, and uh, let's dive in. So the lobster season so far has been going great, and this day I was just really hyped to get in the water. Though the conditions were not good, I should have just left, uh, decided to give it a go, and hopefully conditions were okay. But it was really muggy here, and you can see um, the swells are pretty harsh. Uh, the swells were about a foot and a half, two feet, so pretty high for this area and uh, especially when we're trying to get close to those rocks to grab the lobsters, a little risky. And right when we head in, the visibility is terrible. Here we go, this is unedited. Just look how far I stick my hand out all the way and you can barely see it. So as you can see, the visibility is just not great. And you'll see here, when I'm diving down, my hand is out. Uh, I'm just doing that so my face doesn't hit the rock, especially in these really murky conditions. Um, again, don't recommend it. I should have just left right away, but um, promised some friends some uni. So I'm looking around and I know I can probably find those. So I spot some and I take some up. During this clip, take a look at my hands, uh, how I'm trying to grab onto the rocks as the surge is pulling me back and forth. Um, so that's one thing I'm doing here. If you do happen to be diving in these situations, um, that's what I'm doing with my hands. For those of you that don't know, this is keyhole limpid and you could actually eat these. Uh, it's pretty much like a poor man's abalone, I like to think of it. Yo, what's up? It's not worth it. <laughs> Head back. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Conditions are not good. Dude, the conditions suck today, man. Alright, let's go. I don't know what it is, but yeah. So since it was so murky on the bottom, actually on the way back, I just started pulling off the spikes as I'm paddling along. And I'm sorry, I, after I 
did it, I realized it looks pretty gross, but this is what a sea urchin is like without spikes. All right, everyone, we just wrapped up our dive. Conditions were not good. Um, I would just advise if you're going out, just walk around the rock around the corner, take a look. It'll save you a ton of time getting ready and diving in those conditions. Not only is it not worth it, um, it is definitely unsafe. So we decided to cut it early, head home. Uh, but on the way back, as we're changing out, I'm wearing this changing towel here. Uh, I put my phone in a little front pocket, decided to clean some of my stuff next to the water. Unknowingly, my phone popped out and now I am phoneless temporarily. Uh, I've been meaning to do an upgrade of some sort, but uh, it sucks, but at least we're safe, we're out of the water. Still, good lesson learned. Don't be as clumsy. So you ever wonder if you don't dive because the conditions or just wasn't a great dive and you just head in early, what do you do? You usually go eat. Today, we're gonna try some Popeyes. No, I'm not sponsored by them by any means, but we just like their chicken sandwiches. Just gonna eat, relax, enjoy the day. Let's head on in. Catching your food and eating it is always fun, but sometimes you just wanna enjoy and decompress after a dive, especially after a, a poopy dive like today, and especially after losing a phone. Um, but yeah, just enjoying some simple food. It's not super luxurious or anything, but always good to eat with your fellow dive buddies, just talk about the dive, and uh, looking forward to the next one. <laughs>